the world's ever-growing population has bestowed the gift of traffic to all nations. In England, whether it's in the big city of London, the resort seaside city of Penzance, where pirate traffic has given way to the Vauxhall. In Robin Hood and Maiden Marion's old haunt of Nottingham, in front of the church where some say they were wed. Even the rural communities like Newmarket, which lends its name to one of the world's most famous racing facilities. Developed by Charles II and named after one of his horses, Newmarket is commonly referred to as the birthplace of modern racing. And over its 300 year history, this turf has felt the racing plates of some of the sport's greatest. Newmarket has always been home to the horse. Thoroughbreds helped make the town what it is, a destination spot for racing. The horse is always king here. The equine athletes venture from every reach of the town on designated paths. Their destination, the wide open fields where the weekly runs and workouts are performed. As the turf action has grown over the last 300 years, so has Newmarket, both in population and in heavy road congestion. And when the horses need to cross a thoroughfare, no lights or signals are needed. Just a simple hand wave from a rider and all vehicles stop and wait until all of the animals and their passengers are safely to the other side. A lot of time and money are put into the horse and preparation for racing. The long walks across town culminate in a work setting unlike any other in the world. At Newmarket Racecourse, Cambridgeshire, England, for the Revenue Park Update, I'm Dale Day.